back to Just Good Bits, Good Tips for Life. Today we're going to cut mushrooms in wedges. And we happen to have baby bellas here. You can do this with any size or any type of mushroom that is about this size. If they're smaller, you can just quarter them. You see some people quartering? Then they, that's a button size. This is a little larger. Let's look at the mushroom. First, if you look underneath it, the cap is attached to the stem via a piece they call the veil. That means it's fresh. If it's drawn back a little bit and you have a little bit of air space, it's still fresh. It's just not as fresh as this one. If it's pulled all the way back and it's starting to curl away, you probably want to avoid that mushroom. Let me show you how we're going to, how we're going to wedge this. We're going to break the stem out. This end of the stem is dried up and it's hard. It's not going to really appeal to your recipe. It could be dirty even though you wash it. We're going to cut that off and we're going to throw that out. Now, to make the stem match the other cuts, we're going to do a diagonal cut across this, and now it's going to look like a wedge. We turn the cap over. First, we're going to cut it in half this way, then half this way. This gives us even cuts. Now, this is a little big. If it was a smaller mushroom, that'd be enough. It'd be a quarter. We're going to eighth it. We're going to turn them over and cut each one of these in half. That's why I call it wedging, because they're actually little wedges. Depending on the size of the mushroom, it could be a quarter, an eighth, whatever. What you can see here is we've got, what you can see here is we have actual chunks. It's going to cook down a little bit, but it's enough for you to bite into. You get a mouthfeel of the mushroom. It, it makes your dish uh, have a more meaty effect. That's the whole point here. We don't want to slice them thin. We don't want to lose the texture. We want some of that mushroom texture. Thank you. And let's talk a little bit more about the mushroom again. You can cut it a different way. That, since I have the mushroom, I'm going to show you how to slice it the way my life, wife likes it. more shows the whole mushroom. We're going to take that tip. I'm going to cut it off again. Throw it away. Take the mushroom up like this and just slice away. You get slices. Right through the stem. Right through everything. Claw grip again. You need to be careful when you get to the end. It's a little harder. Anyway, you got the end. You got the slice. You got the idea of what I'm talking about. That's the end of our mushroom video.